So here's another update on the construction of Collin Glen. In behind me you'll see a large crane and a lorry load of steel. And some of it's being dropped into the pad for the short step takeoff tower, which is to start to go up today. So uh, JMA, the construction company for the zip lines, is over on site and they'll be here for the next few weeks to construct the short zip line. So exciting things happening now within Collin Glen. We had a great walk around on site today with Belfast City Council. We were accompanied by Martins, the contractor for the uh, infrastructure works, and we met with JMA, the steel people as well, uh, for the zip line. So today, everything seems to be taking shape. There's a good plan in place now to tidy everything up, to work on reinstating paths, to work on signage, gates, fences, everything that we need to do to put in place to have this as a world-class attraction for to welcome the public whenever they get back. And hopefully with announcements coming from the executive over the next, uh, I think over the next couple of days, we should see that public will be allowed to come back and start taking part in sports activities and outdoor activities. Uh, and certainly by the time that the construction is finished and the toboggan is commissioned, maybe by May, maybe June, we'll have loads of people coming up here on site to Colin Glen from all over this country and we'll be able to welcome them to the best attractions in Ireland. We're also well underway with uh, recruitment. The staff that we're recruiting at the minute, which should be appointed within the next three or four weeks, will be working here on this zip line tower and the long zip line, which is over on the far side, as well as the Alpine coaster, as well as our existing attractions, the likes of Skytrack as well. So our staff numbers are going to grow considerably as we get ready for opening uh, our new attractions at Collin Glen. Throughout these vlogs I've been talking about the short zip line and the long zip line and the toboggan or the coaster. Collin Glen has launched a new uh, competition to local schools, schools across the north, uh, to try and name these attractions. So the short zip line, the long zip line and the alpine coaster as well. That competition's running for I think another week or so uh, through local schools, primary and secondary level. And we're asking creative people to do a bit of research into the geography of the area. So you'll see the hills, the Belfast Hills in behind us. Is, is there anything there within our history and heritage and geography that could be used as great names for these attractions? So the short zip line, the long zip line and the alpine coaster. So keep an eye out. For any of those teachers who you know, any schools that you're connected to, let them know that that competition's running and there's a great prize of a full day's package activity within Collin Glen Forest Park for the winners.